my name is Beardo Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing most excellent today. Today we're listening to a subhuman song called From the Cradle to the Grave. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is the first subhuman song I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I may have heard one or two other songs in a casual setting, like at a party or in a car or something, but I never sat down to listen to, sub to subhumans. And apparently, this song is almost 17 minutes long. Well, not apparently. It is almost 17 minutes long. And apparently, it's a precursor or like an inspiration to to the other longer punk songs like The Decline by No Effects and Jesus of Suburbia by Green Day. To name a few. Which, yeah, Jesus of Suburbia blew me away when the, uh, the first time I heard it as a longtime Green Day fan. Uh, the, the decline too. The more I listen to it, the more uh, there's more there's more stuff to pick out, and yeah, it's it's amazing. It's 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 always cool to see a, a punk band who stick to like you know a minute, two minute, three minute songs, kind of experiment and and try something different. Um, so I'm I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash beardonation. The link is down below in the description. So this is a fresh listen. Let's go. Subhumans from the cradle to the grave. Huh. Sounds like the end credits to a movie right off the bat. The guitar tone is interesting. It's it's very uh, clean sounding. Like I I wonder if if a more distorted distorted guitar tone is going to come in later. But yeah, it's it's almost like a a kind of a f not even fuzzy, just like some some dirt on it. Yeah, unexpected for sure. You know what? Uh, they'll sound like uh, ninth chords to me, or like uh, suspended second chord, probably ninth chords. Reminds me of Natural Signs by Rush off of Permanent Waves. Yeah, they utilize a lot of like ninth chords in that song. And it's just giving me the same vibes. Like, guitar chord-wise, not tempo-wise. There we go. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing this is the the typical guitar tone. Yeah, it's it's not as distorted as I was expecting. I was expecting something uh, harsher, like a uh, like GBH or Discharge or something like that. Just a really bitey guitar tone, but this is more almost like it's it kind of. Bridges the gap between hardcore punk and almost pop punk. Let's go. <laughs> Vocally reminds me of uh, Jello Biafro from Dead Kennedys. Maybe with not as much uh, quiver in his voice, but along the same lines. That little descending like is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing lots of progressive tendencies. Like just the the switching of 
uh, from like the guitar riff to the the drum fill stuff. Not even two minutes into the song. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Lots of uh, chromaticism going on. I dig it. I dig it. Interesting cover, too. Is that like a, a baby on a giant hand? And I guess that's a, the kid's shadow, but what's this? Is that just the shadow of the hand? And what's going on here? I, I don't make it out. I can't make it out. It looks like it could be like smoke and exhaust from a factory and a bunch of factories. Maybe maybe this is the hand of God or the creator or whoever. Kind of um, placing uh, a new I don't know automated worker in the factory. I don't know. That's what I'm getting from it. That's what I'm getting from it. Let's go. Subhumans from the cradle to the grave. Straight into a reggae part. <laughs> okay, so that accent is is from the UK. Sounds very English. So yeah, right away I equate them to The Clash. I never really got into The Clash. I don't know why. I don't know why. Let's keep going. Subhumans from the cradle to the grave. What is that? There's like a, a tremolo picked guitar. What sounds like playing a B, like really emphasizing the B notes where the rest of the band is playing an E chord, it sounds like. Making it sound kind of menacing. Not really dissonant because the B is like, you know, the fifth of the E. But subhumans. That's nice. The uh, it's almost like harmonics, the higher chord voicings. Okay, now there's a bit more crunch on the guitars. I bet by the end it'll be like fucking waterhead. <laughs> Nice echo on that guitar. Nice reverb. could be this could be the the climax of like the first act of the song maybe i don't know if the song has acts though it's got to have acts if it's almost 17 minutes yeah i can't expect a, a song that long to to kind of have the same sound all throughout subhumans let's go oh uh, i was almost almost expecting him to hold that note for as long as possible.
That's interesting, yeah. Really, really uh, interesting chord voicings. How many guitar players are in this band? Is it just one, two? Yeah, someone please let me know in the comments below. How many guitar players? Who's in this band? What are they about? <laughs> Subhumans! All right. Oh, I got a bit more crunchier guitar tone. Yeah, it is evolving for sure. I'm just playing along mentally in, uh, on guitar in my mind. Sounds like just a D and C chord. Love a love a good like palm muted uh, build up. That's that's cool. I've never heard like uh, a riff like that. That sounded like it was in three, played in double time. I don't think I've ever heard a riff played in double time in three before. I must have though. I want to go back a little bit and listen to that again. It's not really double time, it's like, yeah, the snare is just on the one, but still still very, very uh, musically interesting. That sounds like that little uh, riff. Do 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 do. So so it's like open D E F and then same thing on the A string. Open A B C. Do 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 do. That's what it sounds like to me. The tone, the guitar tone just sounds like like a Strat or like a cheap-ass guitar plugged into a Fender amp with just... It's, it's got that, like, that signature Fender tone to me. I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like. Key change. Interesting. All right. Very crisp, very crisp ride cymbal sound. I dig that. I can always appreciate a good ride. Tasteful use of dynamics. And, and the ride symbol, especially here. Okay, new bass riff coming in. Oh, 
Oh. I like that, man. And this seems to be in three as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool, uh, cool use of like the tritone because it sounds like A to E flat to E. Bum 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 bum. But there's also another uh, harmony in there that I can't figure out yet. Let's go back a little bit. So yeah, if you haven't noticed yet, I I, I like to uh, try to break down the song musically as well. Because I've I've been playing music most of my life, and that's just what I do, and that's what I do when I listen to music. Just kind of break it down in my head, and I'm just kind of verbalizing it right here. That's yeah, hard to make it out. What that other note is. Maybe the G sharp, which would be the the major seventh of the A, but maybe not. Yeah, anyway. Subhumans, from the cradle to the grave, let's go. It's going to bug me until I figure it out. Alright, that's cool. Like a little eastern sounding scale. Riff. You know what? With the ride and everything, it's got like a like a surf guitar type of vibe too. Not not fully, but like I could tell they have the they have some surf guitar influence, like Dick Dale and all those guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only listening to the lyrics now. I like to join the army. Be a man and not a fool. Is that what he's saying? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that riff reminds me of Seek and Destroy by Metallica. It's got, like, just, they just share some of the same notes. I know it's not, like, the same thing, but, yeah, <laughs> that's just what it reminds me of. Oh, it speeds up now. Sweet. How fast is it going to get? Wipe out. Interesting. I like the way they're pairing the lyrics with the drums, with the music, because the lyrics sound like uh, army recruitment, like recruiting uh, anybody who's willing to, to to die for their country and and it, it it follows the same theme as like war pigs by black sabbath where where you know generals gathered in the masses just like witches at black masses i'm not going to recite the whole lyrics but like the politicians the people in charge the 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 higher ups the fucking the 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 pigs hiring the dogs to do their dirty work. And yeah, the, the drums match that theme of the, the military because uh, they just sound like like a military marching band, snare drum type of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. When you practice what they preach You're sure to keep yourself alive And you'll kill the kid that pays And then it won't be so much fun As you hear the wind and cry I'm going to go back and just read the lyrics after this. <laughs> Ooh. 
That that was cool. That do 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 do. That reminded me of like maybe meant to uh, imitate gunfire from a machine gun. Really cool. I I like how they're approximating um uh, sounds from their instruments. It's not just like three chords. That's a cool riff. You know what? With that that sustained pedal, the bow while the other guitar goes ba dum ba dum ba, which I guess is A to A sharp or B flat. Ba dum ba dum ba ba dum ba dum ba down to G, A to G. It's 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 reminded me of David Bowie. Uh, just like the, the tone of the. That pedal tone is like uh, Suffragette City. Same type of tone. Sirens going off and shit. That's a nasty riff. Yes. I hope they bring that part little that little part. That was interesting. I hope they bring that back for a little bit. Let's go back. <laughs> yeah, just like two bars of some jazz fusion y stuff. Okay, here's that main riff again. Okay. Yo. Okay, that was the nastiest riff I heard yet. Oh, they should bring that back. I think it was around here. Right here? Yeah. Jeez. Had like a real push and pull type of sound of maybe it, it it conjured up an image of like like a heart like uh getting bigger expanding getting smaller again just like heavy breathing or something or doing like CPR on somebody hmm hmm I love it when when music without any vocals. Or lyrics just paints a picture like that. Ooh, there's some lovely. I guess that's still guitar. The the high note. Wow, it's some very atmospheric. So true, holy shit. What do you say? The army kills for money, animals kill for food? Holy shit. Yeah, I gotta go back and, and check out these lyrics. This degradation in the name of what is right become something you never were and regret it till you
We've got more of a triumphant sounding now. Ending. Yeah. Shit, this is awesome. And I just noticed the E in grave looks like a pitchfork. So does the E in the, kind of, but more in, in grave. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Work till you die, killing yourself to live. Cycle just continues. And unless you can react against the brainwash from the start, your government will rule your mind, and your mind will rule your heart. Wow. Those words, holy shit. And what was the last two words or lines? Unless you can react to the governor, the words will rule your heart, or something like that? Man, profound. Profound. Let's keep going. Let's listen to the whole thing. Subhumans. As soon as they said from the cradle, I was, yeah, it's gonna come to the grave. Now it's like the casket's already in the ground. They're lowering the casket into the ground. Now it's just like the last procession. It's like everybody's leaving the grave, going back to their their normal daily lives. It's totally giving me rush vibes, like like uh the, the mid seventies era, like the, the their progressive era, their more progressive era, just like the use of, of shifting time signatures or shifting uh tempos and just the, the ninth chords. Are these guys influenced by Rush at all, or... Yeah, someone please let me know in the comments below. They they must have somehow... Subhumans. And not only in the, uh, the ninth chord specifically... And the tempo changes, but the bass lines, like they're they're walking all over the place, they're stomping over everything. Sounding very Getty Lee like. Yeah, so it's not just like playing the root of the chord. They're they're uh adding some color to it. Yeah. Fading out. I wouldn't have it any other way. That that song deserves a fade out so that that riff stays in your mind. And that is the purpose of, of songs fading out to uh, to have that last hook and the, the the last the thing that they're fading out on stick in your mind. That was amazing. I enjoyed that. Um, so this is from the album, From the Cradle to the Grave, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, and if I had to guess, this is just a guess, this is like one side of the LP, and on the other side, you got your typical one or two or three minute songs. 
Well, yeah, man, I'm glad to listen to this as like a, the first subhuman song just to kind of get a longer taste of what they're all about because I don't think I would have appreciated them as much if I if I sat down and listened to, I guess, another song of theirs. That's that's your two or three minute song length. I really enjoyed the lyrics the most, I would say. Just very, very thought-provoking and, and uh, topical. I guess the topic of war never goes out of out of uh, relevance just because there's always some, some form of conflict going on in the world, unfortunately. And it's just as much as much as people like to say and as much as I like to say that I wish there was peace and no war, I think that it's 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 uh, ine inevitable that people always fight. Sadly, yeah. Ah, uh, well, that was great. I gotta listen to some some more subhumans. And if you guys would like to uh, recommend me other songs to check out, subhuman or otherwise, any genre in the world, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Please let me know in the comments below. That was awesome. That was subhumans from the cradle to the grave.